All right, Genesis Ultimatum. One, two, three, four. So I guess we just go phase. Okay, I wasn't sure if the, the Scampering Scorcher would happen first or not, but there we go, that works. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and uh, I'm actually breaking my rule and playing Agent of Treachery in a deck. This is a deck that uh, has been kind of making its rounds around the interwebs lately and everything like that. Uh, and it's Yorion Elementals, it's Genesis Ultimatum is the main card here though. So Genesis Ultimatum, it plays four copies of it and we're just ramping up to Genesis Ultimatum, having a ton of interactions, like a ton of uh, things that happen whenever creatures enter the battlefield because we're playing Elementals, Elementals are great, Risen Reef, Broken, Busted, Omnath, really awesome as well. Uh, Scamper and Scorcher creates lots more elementals for our Risen Reefs. A lot of early game stuff as well. Uh, Thassa, one Thassa here to be able to blink things back. Yorion, because it's just amazing, blinks a lot of things. And then of course our Agent of Treachery is kind of top it off. Cavalier Thorns, Mythos of Aluna, I absolutely love the card. Uh, Gross Spirals, Leaf Can to kind of uh, ramp up, and Uro. That's, dude, I just went through the entire deck so quick. That was a minute, oh my goodness, you're welcome. Now we can play the game and just not have to deal with that. You're just going to keep listening to me talk, though, because anyway, okay, I'm done. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay, see how it does for us, and wish me luck. All right, this isn't the fastest start, but we do have ramp. We do have Uru, so we're going to go ahead and keep it so that we can play Uru. We'll lead off, ooh, against Mono Red. I did see Obosh, uh, but I mean, Leaf King Druid is a pretty good play there. We want to get to Ultimatum, but I think that we have to hit lands before we can do that. Omnath is pretty nice here. Like, we actually have a pretty good curve. With a little bit of soul lands. Okay, Leafkin Druid, great blocker. Pass the turn. Into Uro, into Awesomeness. So yeah, untapped land for Uro would probably be the best so we can keep up the blocker. And then Omnath into killing things. Killing things is just so good. Hmm. Love it. <laughs> Sounds like sadistic. Now, whatever. All right, well, we will block here. Take two from the Phoenix. Down to 16. Hey, untapped land for Uro. Wish granted. We could also just kill the Phoenix. Bring out Omnath here. Um, Scampering Scorcher as well. Kind of for blockers. I, I think we go Uro here. Going for the ramp, going up to get to big things is great. No two drops. World Grazer, we can go to the bottom now. And no attacks, pass the turn. I mean, four lands still at almost, oh man, Heraldic Banner. This to me is the main reason that Obosh does so stinking well, is that card right there. I think we're safe to block, we'll see. All right, so what are we playing here? I think it's just Omnath. Kill Phoenix. Play land, grow Omnath. Yeah, I think we kill the thing that's in the air. Obosh is annoying. We get Agent of Treachery for the next turn. Um, so this does double damage. I mean, that's probably their best play is just to play out the Obosh. They could try to put on like uh, Ember Cleave onto this. Another Heraldic Banner. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, that's that's a lot of Heraldic Banner in this. Um, we'll take it. We could Agent of Treachery and steal one of them. That could be fun. Um, let's actually put it onto the Leaf Can Druid now. Because we may want to go for some other stuff now. Another Omnath kill Fervent Champion isn't a terrible play. Yorion kill this. I mean, I guess Agent of Treachery is just the best, right? Into Yorion later. Not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll not attack, just in case. Until we actually have a full board state, this is fine. Uh, but yeah, being able to bounce everything back here, hopefully I can... Do we have no plans for Risen Reef as well? Not quite. That is so many Heraldic Banners. 
<laughs> Alright, Grim Initiate. Uh huh, uh huh. Grim Champion. This is swing in. A lot of damage. We could double block and kill it. What do they kill? Agent of Treachery? Because they know that we have the Yorion. Can we take any more damage? Dude, Frolic Banner is good. Drop to seven or lose, what, Agent of Treachery? We get to kill it. I think this is fine because we get Omnath as well to just kill stuff. So yeah, we lose Agent of Treachery, but we keep a big guy. Stealing stuff is nice, but against Mono Red, stealing their stuff isn't quite as nice. All right, let's get some... See, do we get to draw here? I think that was number eight. Yeah, we're one off. Let's go ahead and just make Omnath all sorts of bigly. Or Leafkin Druid. Let's go Omnath. Um, Table of Passage with Cavalry Thorns is pretty nice here. Because that will let us draw two cards. Does it come in tapped? No, it just comes in, yeah. So counter again onto Omnath. A sack. Grab. I don't think it really matters now. Um. Let's go Cavalier here. Scampering Scorcher. Swinging with Fervent Champion. Swinging with Cavalier. Actually, let's hold back Cavalier. Swinging like that. Okay, down to 13. We are basically presenting lethal on the next turn. Mythos of Aluna can be pretty nice. Yorion is sweet. Annex. Okay. And oh, Bosh. Yeah, jump block this for days. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you can also just bring back Uro. All right, we'll we'll just play Uro real quick, and then we'll Yorion. That seems good. Uh, play it tapped. Uh, so we probably are going to bounce the Omnath, so there's no reason to put more counters onto it. So I guess Leafing Druid's the only one we're not going to be doing stuff with. Mythos of Aluna is not a bad play either. We can just have like a Cavalier fight Obosh. That, that actually seems pretty good here. So target permanent... Pay with this, because it fights because we pay with the colors. Fight Obosh. Grab a Breeding Pool. Have to come in tapped. Need to draw some cards. On Elemental, let's go with... This one's already going to be good. Let's go just Leaf can Druid again. Another Mythos of Luna. All right, yeah, this is feeling really, really good. <laughs> Dude, I like this deck. I like it lots. Um, we'll go ahead and grab Agent of Treachery off the top. Does it kill something when it dies? Interesting. All right. Oh, I, I wasn't able to exile it from the graveyard, so it doesn't actually matter. That's what happened. Um... Dude, these are just five fives. <laughs> I mean, they bl get blocked pretty easily, though. So we'll swing in with Cavalier of Thorns. If it dies, we get back Agent of Treachery. 
It takes it down to seven. Yep, pass the turn. Dude, Risen Reef would be sweet too. I'm, I'm kind of missing a Risen Reef here. <laughs> the Phoenix of Ash with Heraldic Banner, that, that goes quick. And we just went in with our Reach creature, huh? Swings for seven. Do they have Embercleave here? Oh my gosh, if they have Embercleave, I can't believe this. Guaranteed they have it. Um, block, block, block. Ah, whatever. Jump, jump, whatever. All right, do they have the Ember Cleave? We, we survived through it if we hadn't done this. If I hadn't swung in with the Cavalier of Thorns. But they have 16 points of damage in the air with it. It could just be Castle Embrith. Okay. It's lots of tokens. That's fine. We should be able to swing back now, right? I think Genesis Ultimatum will be pretty nice into maybe Omnath. All right, Stompy. Stompy's cool. It's a lot of bodies. All right, Genesis Ultimatum. One, two, three, four. Let's have a few triggers happen here. So on Elemental I Control, let's put it onto Cavalier of Thorns. Build a block, Phoenix of Ash. Um, how many creatures do I have? Do I, I have another Omnath, right? So I guess we just go phase. Okay, I wasn't sure if the, the Scampering Scorcher would happen first or not, but there we go, that works. All right, on the play against Percy, and we're gonna keep this, this looks amazing. Pretty stinking good. We get a scry on turn one, Rose Spiral, Risen Reef, Uro, all the good stuff. I guess it is Uro than Risen Reef. Oh, Scabbing Scorcher with Risen Reef. Yeah, okay. Shock it past the turn. Lucky Clover. All right, Grow Spiral. Get out tap land. Um, we get to play stuff lands for free. Tapped, right? Or do they come in untapped? I think we want a bit more action along the way. We can run into more lands still. Um, okay, we get Risen Reef and a Leafkin Druid on the next turn. So let's go Fable Passage. Hmm. If we hit a land here, we also get Scampering Scorcher and Leafkin Druid on them. They're going to have Stompy. All right, so go Uro. Double Risen Reef's good. All right, Stomping Ground, have it come in tapped. That's good, that's good. Deal Passage and pass the turn. I mean, they're still on two lands here, so I mean, okay, three. <laughs> so I mean, Lucky Clover, this uh, adventure deck is still really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and activate. Um, I think we we already have the two red source. Let's grab another blue source, I believe. Tons of green. Yorion feels really powerful here as well. Stompy is going to be annoying, though. So untapped land, we probably just go double Risen Reef. Try to keep him alive. Uh, it's not an untapped land, though. All right, that's fine. We still have a game plan. Um, guess we keep it on top for Risen Reef. Get a bit more ramp. 
Take action. Leave King Druid. Okay. So yeah, next turn we have Risen Reef into Scampering Scorcher. If they don't just kill stuff. I mean, all right. I don't, did they play a land yet? They might still have Stomp. What else does this deck play? If it's uh, Chandra, Chandra doesn't kill elementals. And I think if we go Risen Reef, Scampering Scorcher, we should have enough value. Have they played land yet? If your guess is annoying. All right, shocks it in. All right, play Risen Reef. Aether Gust the Risen Reef. Um, take action. Draw it, play it again. Scavenge Scorcher on the next turn. Still hope they don't have Stomp. I think having double Risen Reef is ultimately better, right? Two triggers. Take action. Take action. I mean, this is still such a busted card. I love it. <laughs> we It's kind of gone away for a while. I mean, like, you still run into it here and there, but I kind of miss just playing Risen Reef awesomeness, you know? They got bounce spells. Bounce spells aren't great against us. No Bone Crushers. Edgewell Innkeeper is really good. It took up almost their entire turn. All right, so we need to actually find a way to finish the game out now. Omnath is kind of a great way to do it. Just, you know, a couple Omnath. So Genesis Ultimatum is what we're looking for now. And the best way to find it is to... Let's see, how many how many lands do we have? Scampering Scorcher. We have another Aether Gust. Raisin Bar or Risen Reef. Okay. Oh, that's right, they get to do both. That's fine. Risen Reef, Risen Reef. Take action. This one does not bring him un untapped. Maybe I should have gone for like Cavalier Thorns first. Ah, whatever works. Alright, swing, swing, swing. Yeah, with Yorion in the companion board, <laughs> killing Scapper and Scorcher is better. I still haven't found a stomp. Cross a card. I think we're to a point where it's going to be hard for them to finish this off before we get to just uh, Genesis. Like The goal is to find Genesis Ultimatum. That is the main card that wins us the game here. He finds a Flame Sweep. That's not till next turn now, though. Stainful Stroke. They have land. They haven't played it yet. Okay. They got the land. We could steal their Lucky Clover. So we go for Yorion, they counter it. Or is it Agent of Treachery, they counter that, then Cavalier of Thorns? I think just getting more triggers with this is probably the best, so... Agent of Treachery. We could also Yorion to return both Risen Reefs. So yeah, we know they have the Disdainful Stroke. We just have to get rid of it. That's fine. And then I think it's Yorion. It's Yorion time. We also get to play Uro this way. So first off... We're 
One, two, three, Uro. Oh. Another agent of treachery. All right, Yorion. Blink one, two, three, four. No attacks. Get some triggers. I'm feeling a little triggered. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Dude, I just I just like playing Resident Reef ramp craziness sometimes. There's the Genesis Ultimatum and Omnath. Those are coming a little bit late because we're going to lose a lot of our, our stuff now. Um, with Omnath, we're trying to go for like lethal board state here. That might be worth holding on to. Because if we can Scampering Scorcher, I think we have enough to Scampering Scorcher, Genesis Ultimatum, and then Omnath. Escape to the Wilds. Okay. There's another Lucky Clover. Still no Bone Crushers, though. I mean, I feel like you've got to go for the... Yeah, they still have Land Drop, Flame Sweep. You lose your edge wall innkeeper. We still keep quite a few things. All right, beanstalk giant into flame sweep, probably. They can do it instant speed. Hmm. I mean, they're starting to go off. Pretty swell here. Interest Impulse. Raisin Borrower. That is good. Very good. Ah, oh, man. We wanted Agent of Treacheries on the top <laughs> with this Genesis Ultimatum. So I think that we swing in with Yorion first. We could hit a bunch of Scampering Scorchers. I think we only have like two of them in the deck. Um, all right, so this is what we do. I think we go Leafkin Druid first. Just play out something, make him answer what we've got. Okay, two Risen Reef Triggers. Take action. Razor. All right, let's just Genesis Ultimatum. We still have Agent of Treachery after this as well. They're letting it resolve, which means these all hit, all triggers happen before they have any answers. We have, uh, so... Omnath... I guess still first. Oh, I think I did that the wrong one. Maybe not. Um, okay, Cavalier Thorns. Target their face. We have Omnath in hand as well. So there goes the Flame Sweep. So we could grow Spiral, try to find a land. Meh, it's fine. So the D5. Take action, Scry. Yeah, okay. Yep, that feels pretty good. <laughs> All right, up against Lurus. Leafkin Druids are pretty good blockers against them, as well as some removal. Scampering Scorcher can be good if they have, like, Priest of Forgotten Gods. We got some answers. All right, Temple of Epiphany. We want just more lands. I think we have the ramp right now. We need to find, like, good targets for Yorion. Good, good stuff. You know? Dreadhood Butcher, you say. Well, Leafkin Druid's a decent blocker there. Ah, 
Omnath's a good thing to kill it. Shocks in Luris already? Another Dreadhorde Butcher. Okay. A block here. Let them have it. Thassa with Omnath seems really powerful against this deck. Like, really, really good. Uh, that brings it in tapped, right? So, yeah, we go Omnath. Kill the fool. They're going to sack it in response. So they do get to swing in next turn and then sack stuff. Scampering Scorch where Thassa's isn't terrible either. We can just go crazy wide. Another Witch's Oven. I mean, Luris does bring everything back. Having Omnath around is nice. Okay, Heartless Act. Ugh, man. All we needed was a land. Stop that. From Hatman. Alright, so pay to Scampering Scorcher. Play Leaf can Druid because we have a bunch of creatures. Get a little bit more ramp. We're a lot closer to Genesis Ultimatum now. We need three. So we need one more blue or red source. Um. Swing in with two. Old Becca blocker. Jumping for days. Down to 16, past the turn. Droxa. That's fine, that's fine. We'll drop a Grazer. So yeah, we're, we're really close to Genesis Ultimatum. The all the mana symbols make it hard to really get there with Leafkin Druid. Chump block. That's cool, that's cool. Cauldron familiar. Alright. I mean our life total is really low. That is an issue. Yorion is just a legitimate threat. We can still bounce Scampering Scorcher. If we get to Genesis Ultimate and we have a pretty good shot, do I want to have Thassa down before then? Let's go for Thassa. It also taps down creatures. In fact, we should have maybe... Because we have four mana left up. We could have just tapped down Dreadhorde Butcher. No attacks, they just get to kill the cat anyway. And we're, we're losing a lot of life here, so no attacks. Bounce the Scorcher. Yeah, we need to find Uro. Uh, if we find like, we could just find a couple Uros off this Genesis Ultimatum. We do, we should get it next turn. Blue, blue, red, red, lots of green. Oh no, we need three blue. Blue, 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 red, red, green, green. Oh, Croxa might come back. Another Croxa here would be devastating. It's not very likely. Not unlikely though. Alright, block here. Um, take three now or just don't let them do it anytime soon. We, we could just kill this. Take three. 
four, five, down to two. Uh, there's too much of a chance that we die, I think, still. We have to try to hit Uro. And they can still sack it, but that takes an extra turn to do so. Oh, man. It's a third or fourth Witch's Oven, then we were definitely dead. Okay. Genesis Ultimatum. I guess I could have Temple Mystery first. I was thinking we could do it after the fact and try to hit a good draw as well. Well, you can't win like that, folks. You cannot win like that. Mythos. Mythos isn't even good because we don't have anything that's worth like, getting here. I mean, I guess we can fight something. Yay. We can play Yorion. That does things. I mean, I guess a redraw. Okay. We have mana to tap down Dreadhorde Butcher. Ugh. All right. We not have enough blue to all right <laughs> pass the turn we take three four sacked yeah so we're already dead on board so oh that one was unfortunate we were doing like lots of really cool awesome things just not anything that interacted with what their deck was doing unfortunately all right this hand we probably got a mulligan a little bit too slow Leafkin Druid, we can keep it. This is still kind of slow. I'll probably drop, I don't know, Scampering Scorcher? Scampering Scorcher is okay, but it's not like great by any means. I guess against Obosh, it's pretty nice. Against Obosh, we'll keep it. So keep six, drop. Oh, what do we drop then? I guess it's Genesis Ultimatum. We have four of them. We'll have to find them later. Risen Reef, okay. We're fine with more value. Rim Initiate is our favorite one drop here. There we go. Perfect. Because we are going to be shocking ourselves for a turn or two. Leafkin Druid coming out. If we can keep Risen Reef alive, Scampering Scorcher, and then Yorion. Hmm. Good stuff right there. Fervent Champion, okay. Shocking ourselves is very painful, but I think keeping up the blocker, will, will it save us more life than just taking more? They find like a Heraldic Banner, I guess maybe. We got Shock. All right. I'm fine getting cards out of their hand. Eesh. Okay, land. Give me land here. I'll take it. I will take that action. Scampering Scorcher is kind of good. Another Fervent Champion. Well, we're taking a beating. Oh, taking a big beating. This means they don't have ramp. Oh, we really needed Scampering Scorcher to there. Hey, what are we looking for? Like maybe just throw off the top? Blocks for a turn or two. By two, I mean a turn. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Uro is good. Uro number two, huh? I don't think it's good enough just yet. Gaining life is good, but they're doing at least three per turn. Uh, four, five. Scampering Scorcher might just even be better here than even the Uro for this turn. So we might just be holding on to that one. Because this blocks more damage. And then Cavalier of Thorns can kind of set us up for some better turns. The Scampering Scorcher. 
no attacks. So they don't keep having haste, so they can get in with 10th Street Dodger. This just gives them haste until end of turn. Hmm. 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 Then. Yeah, I think they were just a little bit too slow on this one. Being on the draw versus being on the play. Tal goes. I do think we have to block. We get to kill one thing, which kind of works with Annex. Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, yeah, Temple of Mystery. To the bottom. Scry again. To the bottom. Well, we can block Annex. We take five, six, seven. One more for lethal. Like, I think our best shot is that we get ultimatum. Probably more of, of, than the arrows that we already got. We even have enough mana for ultimatum. I don't know. All right, block annex. I'm pretty sure this one's over though. Down to one. Bring back what? Nothing is actually good enough. So, play it in decline. I think we're just kind of hoping. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that we also need some flame sweeps in this deck. Just if you're playing red, I think that flame sweep is a at least a good one of or two of in every deck. Oh my gosh! All right, yep, yep. We're done for. Uh, we were done for a while ago, but I was trying to play it out at least a bit. All right, up against Felipe, and we got our Growth Spiral. We have some good lands. We have Uro. Mm, mm, I like this a lot. I like it a lot. Up against Yorion as well. So Yorion is one of those where it's like, I don't feel like you can necessarily just know what deck they're playing with Yorion because it just makes it fun to play lots of stuff. Do we go for more Growth Spirals here? More Ramp is good, but we're already putting lots of things from our hand onto the battlefield. I feel like we're trying to dig for either more lands or more good stuff to play. Like we actually have to have lands in our hand for Gross Spiral to work. And yeah, finding a green, another green source would be nice. There you go. Doesn't play case or count playing counter spells here. There we go. We already got another Gross Spiral. Pretty sure we put you to the bottom, but I, I'm, I'm not hating this time. Not at all. Okay, so what we do is we play this way. We play Uro, Mystical Dispute, Draw. We're getting pretty close to just eating our treachery as well. <laughs> Alright, Steam Vents, A2. Just in case I have something, it's probably Omen of the Seas. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grow Spiral now. Temple of Mystery. I mean, that's like the fastest ramp hand you can have. I like it. I like it lots. Um, land on the top gives us Agent of Treachery. Stealing a land here would actually be pretty good. <laughs> uh, and then we can Yorion do it again. So I think that we try to go for the land. Untapped land. I mean, Omnath is a really good draw as well. I don't think it's better than just stealing everyone, stealing their lands for days. Take their white source. Oh, no. I am not going to see. We also just steal their Teferi. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. 
Alright, wait, it's still it's a fairy or I think it just still lands. We get to kill Teferi anyway. They bounce it back to hand, that's I that's gotcha. fine. <laughs> Yorion here as well, banishing light K. Okay, Risen Reef. Oh, I was gonna... Alright, that's good. Mythos of Aluna. Target creature. Yeah, whatever. Yep, that's pretty good. Genesis Ultimatum. I, I'm really liking this deck a lot <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, pay two, Leafkin Druid. Dude, we've just had so much value. Egg action, let's get a scry. What do we want on top here? I don't think we want more lands. I think we actually need action. Genesis Ultimatum helps us get there. Um... We get another scry, I guess so. All right, that one's to the bottom. I'll protect you. So they could have an instant speed board wipe. That's a thing that can happen. We did steal their white source, which may just be enough. Okay, they shock themselves. Okay, so yeah, pretty sure. So what we do here is go to combat. Swing in at Teferi. They probably just let it through. We could go for like Uro and then Genesis Ultimatum. I think we have enough mana for that. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. We still get all the triggers with this. So maybe what we do is we Yorion first, go for Risen Reef, expect a board wipe, and then go off after that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and play. All right, the breeding pool. Grazer. We get a free um, extra mana here. So it's, it's a free Grazer. Yorion. I'm expecting whatever interaction that they have to come out now, so then we can just Genesis ultimate them and hopefully we can win. So, blink blink. Alright. The other thing too is, now if we do Genesis ultimatum... Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Board wipe. If board wipe happens, we at least get the Risen Reef and the other guy back down. Ah, oh, come on. Where's our agents? Everyone else gets him. Um, I think everything tapped here. All right, another Genesis Ultimatum. Sweet. That's good, that's good. No board wipe, I'm kind of surprised. Action. Agent of Treachery, okay. Another Agent of Treachery, okay. We were so close with Genesis Ultimatum. They weren't that deep. I would much rather get those for one times seven mana. Right, yeah, that's right. We expected it, that's fine. Luca becomes annoying if they have this. So we can't search our library with these fable passages. Exile our graveyard. This just looks at the top, that doesn't actually search for it. I've got it. So Agent of Treachery. Still 
Ashiok. We should just still lands, I guess. Agent of Treachery. Still. Fairy? Ah, we'll still there on tap land. Yeah, we should have just stolen the lands. Inner Cleansing gone. Inner Cleansing's okay by us. Alright, activate this first. They just have the trigger thing there. Alright. Draw a few cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we do have to worry about milling ourselves out. Discard a steam vents, I guess. All right, opponent scoops it up. There we go. <laughs> oh man, when this deck goes off, it is glorious, glorious. <laughs> I, and I feel like. The only issue I have with that deck is that you're you're playing long games every time. And for me, I'm not as much of a... Like, I don't like playing long games all that often, personally. Uh, but at the same time, it's really fun. Um, anyway, I, I think the deck is really powerful. I think it's awesome. I think if you're trying to find a good deck to be running, this is definitely a good deck. So run it, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye. Thank you.